Our adventure begins at our guest house in Magora, in the heart of Transylvania. Magora is right in the middle of the Piatra Creulu National Park, deep in the Carpathians. Our guest house, Villa Hermeni, is our base for the week. Local traditions are still kept by farmers. Livestock breeding is the basis of the local income, with animals grazing in the meadows and cared for by shepherds and dogs to protect them against wolves and bears. The hay meadows in the village are still scythed and there are more horse-drawn carts than cars on the road. After a hearty breakfast, our ensemble cast of trekkers meet for our first day's trek, exploring the local area of Magora and Pestera. Our guide, Cosmin, kept us well informed of the geography and flora and fauna of the area. The people here, yeah, they enjoy the Sunday services. Uh, well, it's a the perfect church. extension of the community. People see the park. And then uh, ring the bell first, and then when you finish the, the service, and you you during the service. You know the the purple one, the yeah, right. The mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. very common, the, uh, but I've never seen the yellow one. Called mm. trifolium. Job done, mate. Right? <laughs>
Oh, the red, yeah, red, the red flashes. Red flashes. Oh, nice. Look at the light on them. Quite beautiful. Just catching them. Yeah, somebody lit there. Oh, he's done like a grass. Oh, I see. Yes, of course. Oh, I suppose that's a bar. <laughs> oh, that's a bar. Yeah, I know. Good day. He's an excellent walking. Did you? Yeah, she's a little bit. Not enough for the rabbit. Rabbit's juice. Yeah. I do like rabbit's juice. Yeah. 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 Our next day we travelled by minibus to Zanesti to visit Liberty, a sanctuary for birds who have been rescued from captivity from various parts of the world. The sanctuary was constructed in 2005 and now over 50 birds enjoy a new life in 70 hectares of oak and hazel forest. But uh, you know what it's like if there's nobody to accuse. There's no judge. Mm. She's so self confident, she learns to adapt uh, to the situation. But it takes time. That's the only, yeah, the only thing they need time and peace. And there's also a veterinary clinic in the, in the house. There's a camera uh, supervision and a kind of a, um, a visitor center. Later that afternoon, we travelled to Bran Castle, the castle associated with Vlad Tepes, the Duke of Valachia, who was better known as Count Dracula. <laughs> Brought to life by Bram Stoker, Dracula has become one of horror's most iconic monsters and has helped make Brand Castle a popular tourist attraction today. The only horrors to be found here are the number of tourists and souvenir stalls we encountered. Not to be put off by all the stories, we entered the castle in daylight, well before sunset, just to be on the safe side.
main character is from Dracula, the vampire. And it is said that he lives in a castle in Transylvania. Bram Stoker never specified the wrong castle. It says a castle in Transylvania. That, and this uh, Dracula, from Dracula, the vampire, is to go through a secret passage into his guest room and then suck the blood and take from the vampires. And this is the story from the book. Because this castle is in Transylvania and it has a secret passage, the readers immediately associated this castle with Count Dracula's castle from the book. Before uh, 1897, Bran Castle was only Bran Castle. It was just a military castle. But after the book was released, this castle was Count Dracula's castle. Mm -hmm. yeah. o over there, you yeah. see the, the ancient walls on the right side of the road and the left side of the road. The natural border of the highway is 10, 12 kilometers. But here We walk back from Bran, across the hills, back to Megora. Founded about 800 years ago by the Transylvanian Saxons is the village of Viscri, a UNESCO World Heritage Site. After a massive exodus of the Saxons in the early 1990s, some of the remaining families tried to rescue what had been left. With the support of the Prince's Trust, efforts are made on architecture and the development of agriculture and tourism. In the middle of the peasant fortress at Viscri is a fortified Gothic church which dates back to the 12th century. Oh, 
Later in the afternoon, we visited a local gypsy camp and was shown the traditional way of making house bricks. This is for the big bricks for the house, you know? The house okay. Bricks, so. uh -huh. Uh -huh. So you will put this in the water and then mm -hmm. press it and then... You can prepare 4,000 bricks here, yeah? big bricks, mm. and 12,000 of the little ones for the roof. Mm. About one week they will maintain them inside. And they have to look that it's not burning too... When it's too tough they will be destroyed or when it's too dry. Mm -hmm. So they have to watch every time mm -hmm. what happens. And also, like I told you before, they change from this side and the other side, from right, left, right, left. So firing here, then firing there, firing here. And what do they burn? Wood? Is it wood fire? Wood, wood yes, wood yes, wood yes. Fire. yes. Mm. People who, they learn them how to prepare the bricks, oh, okay. and they give them all the skills, and they pay it also because it's also from the Mihai Minister Trust. It's organized. Oh. So, yeah. And they use the bricks for the old houses, they are allowed to use just this kind of, uh, uh, oh, yes. made with, with clay. Like I told you, mm. it's different. One is better for the bricks, the other one is better for the, for the roof, uh, for the mm. table. Sure about you, Chris, yeah. he's not sure. Good to wait for the credit, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, oh, that's the right yeah. Prince Charles about oh, that. Very yeah. careful, yeah. I just bang my head and trip yeah. 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 Today we are taken by horse-drawn cart, heading for the Berza Valley, a former research area of the Carpathian Large Carnivore Project. Bye bye, we'll see you at dinner time. Any room on the cart? <laughs>
left in the shrub. Hello. From which country do you are? England. UK. England. From England. Okay. Yeah. Have a nice day. Thank, Thank you. So how many kilometers are we walking today? Would you um, choose to say? Guess, guess maybe. Six. 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 Yeah. Okay. This is a cow wheat, but it's endemic, which means it only occurs this variety in the Carpathians, and the yellow are the flowers. And the purple are bracts, yeah. so not flowers, yeah. like extra coding. I follow you. That's great. No, that's just fine. Mm -hmm. I oh, yeah. yeah, they're very small. About this size. I think they came from states originally. They're not native and they ravage our woods. A typical lunch spot. Yes. Now time. <laughs> oh. Oh. And always the people just um, left the village, imagine they were wooden houses, so they just came here, they um, took the cattle, 
and they keep it somewhere in the forest. And because they find this, this cave and uh, religion, it was very important in that times, they need to have, you know, like a central point. And yeah, so they, they, how say, they put these icons, you know, they transform it to be the cave, to be exactly like a church. And uh, there were a few monks somewhere in the um, 17th century. So it was after Michael the Brave, he was the first one who unified the three small countries, Moldavia, Wallachia, and Transylvania. There were uh, two monks who lived here. And unfortunately, during communism, so after the Second World War, it was almost, um, it was not an official monastery, but you know, and after the, the, the war, <coughs> it was closed. At least nobody came here. Sometimes just the old people. I remember we came here with my grandma, my grandfather, and you know, a few kids and a few grandparents usually. And to clean up here and put some fresh flowers or icons mm -hmm. because it's very humid. You see, there's a lot of icons and they are. Yeah, yeah for you. The houses, uh, the, the bells, they were um, as a symbol, they were donated by Pope. Mm -hmm. uh, in, in that time, before the you know the Orthodox and the, the Catholics, mm -hmm. they were split. So the mm -hmm. the bells they were a little bit later. Come on, just a second. So the the bells just uh, shows up in in this uh, in seven eight century. <laughs> Doing the expression of joy as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bliss. <laughs> like we descend through the Stramba Valley to reach our horse and cart for our return to Magora. <laughs> So that's polenta, oh. and there's the, the fresh one, who, the cash. En route, uh, we stopped off at the shepherd's cabin and, uh, to devour their cheese and yogurt. You saw it in the um, uh, guest house. Okay. Who would like a bit of this? I hey, would. Oh. Oh. Yeah. Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> it's hot. Please. Is that what you take mm. in the middle, the middle of it, rather than the outside then? No, the outside's yeah. polenta, the inside's cheese. Yeah. Polenta's very plain. Oh yeah. And it's hot. Okay, got So the quicker mm, you like to help yourself, <laughs> the better. <laughs> this is delicious. Mm. 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 Oh, I know. 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 I that evening we travelled deep into a forest to a hive to look for birds and we weren't disappointed.
Each morning a spectacular buffy style breakfast was laid on, sourced from fresh local produce and very appetising. And at breakfast we would make up our packed lunch for each day. On day five, our minibuses take us to the medieval town of Brasov, founded in the 12th century. The old centre of the city is flanked by Renaissance style Baroque and neoclassical buildings. The largest Gothic construction in Romania is the Black Church, dating from the 1300s. St. Nicholas's Church, built in 1495, served as a culture centre by its priests, scholars and book printers. This old classroom is the oldest in Romania, built in 1495. <coughs> 
the students uh, learn much, much short time than, than comparing with nowadays. Yeah. They learn uh, three months for a lawyer. <laughs> Six months for a teacher. She no longer deserves to proud. And nine months for a priest. Yeah. 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 The first Romanian books were edited and printed here, and it became the school for training translators and transcribers for religious books, documents, and scholarly textbooks. Parchments are made from goat skin and painted over with gold leaf. This school parchment dates back to the 11th century.
Bürger. Yes, yeah, so the tip is on top of that. So 564 plus 10%. Clever people can do that in their head. <laughs> <laughs> so 10, 6, Later that evening, we visited a beaver reintroduction program, which has been running successfully for over 10 years by the Romanian Wildlife Institution. For this, we, we want to have a family, and uh, in the moment, we estimate over 600 beaver just in this river. Really? But How many years? Uh, 12 years. 10, 12, something like this. The beaver, they don't make a dam because they don't need this. The water is big enough, is deep enough from the other river bank, and they go till other 500 meters sometimes to get some branches. They cut the branches and they carry it down. Some of the beavers are radio colored, which should give us a better chance to see them. There was no such luck. The only display we did manage to see was an electric storm. Day 6. We trekked through the spectacular prepper style Zanes de la Canyon, a gorge formed in Jurassic times. I'm 
rocky walls. There's a lot of vegetation. You will see uh, a lot of plants, a lot of trees, and also it's a very, very good area for climbing. They destroyed a lot, so there's a big lot. Okay, they destroyed the lot uh, 27 times. 27 times? In one year. <laughs> it was, I mean, it's everywhere. The canyon is home to some rare species of birds, such as the wall creeper and teng malms or owl. Hello. Yeah, I mean it can be. Over two thousand meters. Piatra Crowley valleys and there's the names, a few of them. Uh, and here it's something about the, the gorge, you know, erosion, the, the stream erosion. You know the tectonic plates when yeah. you go up the mountain yeah. and there's a lot of layers mm -hmm. and, and the mm -hmm. side it's it's very so it's very very fragmented. And also the most density of uh, re residual it's form, it's something it's like um, ridge, needles, fangs, towers, pyramids. I mean, there's a lot of. Well, at the moment, it's 18.5 degrees C, which is the warmest measurement I've had virtually anywhere, but it's still going down. Oi, I'm wasting battery here. Yeah? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody cares about There's a man close to death and he's worried about his battery. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's what everybody says. <laughs> Just go down there and collect those dragonflies and bring them back, my dear. Well done, Charlie. Charlie, you're a star. <laughs> With the sound of music. Woo 
about 1500 meters and we're at a little uh, mountain hut that serves good quality Ursus beer which is a premium beer quality chocolate as well and I'm now butties and <laughs> everyone's made it what do you think of the beer this is the oh. life it's lovely yeah. right oh, money, where's my freezing really cold how often can you drink a beer in, in a setting like this Awesome. Get that in there as well. It's a beautiful spot. <coughs> oh. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She, she love it. I love it. Shall I make heavy breathing? <laughs> <laughs> So these are made by the black, black woodpecker. Terrific, Phil. Oh, there's a goldfish. There's <laughs> a goldfish. <laughs> Kate's thinking about it. This is Katu, who's going to take, take them back. Waiting for us at the guest house is a barbecue. 40 to 79. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. You know, this is our farewell evening together as the week has ended far too quickly. Katharina, the owner of the guest house, was so accommodating and the food was so delicious. Our guide, Cosmin, was always enthusiastic 
and compassionate about conservation issues and was able to share his knowledge with us all. And finally, the camaraderie between the Exodus travellers from both the UK and the USA was fantastic. A great bunch of people, always supportive towards each other. I really enjoyed this week, even you wasn't my best group ever. <laughs> I really enjoyed this week. <laughs> so.